What is Global Health Corps mm -hmm. in a couple of sentences? So we are an organization that every day we mobilize outstanding recent college graduates and young professionals from around the world to work for a year within a healthcare um, nonprofit or government agency. Um, throughout the year, they make an impact on the specific project that the organization wants them to work on, and they obviously learn a tremendous amount from this opportunity. And then throughout the year, we provide professional development, mentorship, leadership development, community building, because we want them to make an impact in this one year. We also want them to continue to stay in this field. We want them to be change makers in global health, no matter what they do. My sister ended up at this conference that was hosted by Google and UNAIDS. And um, this was in 2008. And at the time, the head of UNAIDS was about to retire, and his name was Peter Piat, and he had spent his whole career working on HIV. Um, and he posed this question, to the, or this challenge to the audience, saying, OK, I've spent my whole life making change in this, on HIV. I've been a doctor since the 80s. What are y'all going to do? What's your generation going to do to continue the work that I have completely dedicated my life to? And he posed this challenge. Um, and my sister left that conference. She met another guy from Google, who was my age, and a guy working at an advocacy organization called Face Aids. And they left. And she called me, and she was like, oh my gosh, I met these guys. You're so into global health. You're so into making change. You got to meet them. So we all went to Baltimore, where my sister lived. Everyone brought a plus one, and I was her plus one. Um, and we locked ourselves into her house for the weekend and brainstormed about, around how do we engage our generation in solving the massive health challenges that we face? And how do we, more importantly, show young people that they can do something about this, that whatever their skill set is, they can save people's lives, they can boost health systems, and then therefore affect change in many other sectors. Um, so we locked ourselves in her house for the weekend, and we wrote a business plan, which um, it's not what I normally did when I was 25 on the weekend. And we, <laughs> we wrote a business plan thinking about how can you engage young people after they've graduated from college with the skill sets they have to be change makers in a field that's desperate for change. Well, I was 25. I'd never started a nonprofit before. Uh, I'd never not had a boss before. I'd always had someone to report to and to brainstorm with and to get advice from. And so we went to as many people as we could in every business. And we thought everyone was going to tell us no, first of all. But every business person we talked to, every doctor, every college dean validated the need to invest in young leaders to making change in global health so that we could engage them at the beginning of their career. And you see the payoff right away, but you see the payoff in 30 years when fellows that have done our program are the minister of health in the country where they're from and they're affecting policy for their entire country. What's been really exciting for us is that when we've partnered with organizations the majority of them do not request typical healthcare skills. They already have doctors and nurses. Of course, there needs to be more, but they request young people with management skills, technology skills, grant writing skills. Um, four of our fellows have been architects. Um, they request people with non-traditional skills that can help them change their programs, innovate their programs, and obviously reach more, more patients and more people in the community. Um, and the reason that's great is you can open up this field to tons of young people that might have thought, great, I'm interested in global health, but I'm not pre-med, so maybe I'll write a check to UNICEF later in life. And instead, you can say, that's great, write a check to UNICEF, but also your technology skill sets are equally needed in saving people's lives. Um, and I think it's exciting to change the narrative of what a healthcare worker is. Our goal is to have 500 fellows a year. Um, next year, we're hoping to grow to 90. We're at a place where um, we, we're two years old, and we're trying to make sure that we've invested in our or own organization and built an organization that can support this many fellows.